We visited the Falkland Islands in January this year and if you get a chance to go there it's a really fascinating place to visit. The islands look very Scottish, almost like the Outer Hebrides. It's a very windy place but a lot drier than Scotland and it's perhaps much bigger than you think as the islands are about the same size as Northern Ireland but with just three and a half thousand people living there. The sheep outnumber people many times over as there are something like half a million of them. We stayed in Goose Green for a night before taking the ferry to West Falkland. On our way we passed a colony of Gentoo penguins. They are very noisy little things. Daniel's walking on one of the peatlands we sampled this year and it's unusual for the Falkland Islands as there are many bog mosses growing on this peatland. The surface of the peatland has a series of high points or hummocks which have these dwarf shrubs called diddle dee growing on their crests. Daniel and Tom are looking at the peatland plants here and uh, hang on a minute. Hello. Here are some of the plants they were looking at. So ferns, mosses and various dwarf shrub species. And they just noted the cover abundance of these plant taxa in a 10 by 10 centimetre grid. The next step is to cut out the small surface peat sample, trim it to 5 cm depth, bag it and collect many more. The idea for this work is to look at microorganisms living in the peat samples. We're interested in the testate amoebae and how the mix of species present in the surface samples changes in response to water table depth, moisture, pH and conductivity. This may then help us to better understand how the peatlands have recorded environmental changes over the last 14,000 years or so, as testate amoebae can be preserved in the peat matrices. We're now busy with various analyses of the peat samples we collected, so let's see how we get along. 